This moment that humanity is living through can be considered a door or a hole. The decision to fall into the hole or go through the door is yours. If you consume information 24 hours a day with negative energy, constantly nervous with pessimism, you will fall into the hole. But if you take the opportunity to look at yourself, to rethink life and death, to take care of yourself and others, you will go through the door. Take care of your home. Take care of your body. Connect with your spiritual home. When you take care of yourself, you take care of others at the same time. Do not underestimate the spiritual dimension of this crisis. Adopt the perspective of an eagle that sees everything from above with a broader vision. There is a social demand in this crisis, but also a spiritual demand. The two go hand in hand. Without the social dimension, we fall into fanaticism. Without the spiritual dimension, we fall into pessimism and futility. You are prepared to go through this crisis. Grab your toolbox and use all the tools at your disposal. Learn to resist by the example of the Indian and African people. We have been and continue to be exterminated, but we never stopped singing, dancing, lighting fires and having joy. Don't feel guilty for feeling lucky in these difficult times. Being sad and without energy doesn't help at all. Resilience is resilience through joy. You have the right to be strong and positive. You have to maintain a beautiful, cheerful and bright posture. This has nothing to do with alienation, which is ignorance of the world. It is a strategy of resistance. When we walk in the door, we have a new view of the world because we have faced our fears and difficulties. This is what you can do now. Serenity in the storm. Keep calm. Meditate daily. Make a habit of encountering the sacred every day. Demonstrate resilience through art, joy, trust, and love.